All of us humans have materialistic desires. But when you have all those desires which are material, how can you pursue higher things? How can you pursue truth? How can you pursue our goals? How can you pursue doing good in the, in the world and doing good for the humanity? Well, here comes the concept called burning through karma. And what this explains is that, you know, a lot of times you might want to do a lot of things which are material. For example, a very simple example of that is food. A lot of times you see yourself, you want to have ice cream, you want to have food that's bad for you, but you want to have that, you have that desire for the food, for ice cream, for pizza, even though you know the food is bad. So how can you get rid of this desire and pursue your higher goals? Pursue being fit, pursue your being really good in your job, pursue helping others. How can you do that when you have those material desires? And let's get back to the example of food. The concept called burning through karma tells you that even though you have this desire, you have to fully burn through it. So what this means is that you really want to have ice cream or you really want to have pizza. Why not you actually go and have that and burn through that? That means if you really want to try some really greasy food, it's good to go and try that. And you, all of us have heard that example of person sitting in the couch and having a bucket of ice cream and suddenly realizing that, like, what am I doing with my life? Why am I eating this? Why am I overweight? And this is the point which explains burning through karma. It says that if you go and do something that you have desire for, you have a material desire for too much, you will eventually realize the low value of it. You will eventually realize that having ice cream is not good for you. If you have like two buckets of ice cream in less than one hour, you fully burn through that karma. Like you will hate ice cream after that. And this, this concept of burning through karma will eventually lead you to not having the desire for that material and then you being able to focus on what are worth focusing for. And this concept, you can, you can use this concept in order to get rid of the desires that you have in life. So next time you want to have greasy food, why not actually have that? And when you have that, as time goes on, your desire for that decreases. The other, the other mistake that a lot of people make is that to limit themselves and not allow themselves to have like ice cream or greasy food or do things that are similar to that, which are the materialistic desires. When they don't do that, there is another concept called ego backlash, which you don't have ice cream, for example, for two weeks. And then when you have a single opportunity to have greasy food or ice cream, you will have it so much that you get so sick from it. And that's called the ego backlash. So why not actually have ice cream and let that desire just go away by itself rather than just limiting yourself and eventually you find one opportunity and then have an ice cream and then just feel so sick after that and then just, it's not, it's really unpro unproductive and that desire might not even go away. So that's the concept of burning through karma and it can help you to get rid of materialistic desires.